Hello Libra and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. We have Cycle, New Beginnings. It's interesting, I looked at the bottom of the deck, so I'm going to say it. We have number five, Intention, Back and Forth. Let's pull you an Archangel Michael card. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. Message for Libra. Thank you for the week. What does Libra need to hear for the week? We have number 10, don't settle for less. You are a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true. Don't give up. All right, Libra, let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Libra for the week. Energies for the week to come. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. Thank you. The Hanged Man. It Practically, we're still. There's a lot going on inside, though. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, or the energy of the card. This is somebody who's heart-centered, intuitive, may offer love or support, guidance, can be a parental energy as well, can be love romance, or somebody who might be connected to your heart in some way, male or female with the King of Cups. We can all manifest as court cards in general readings. Two of Pentacles, this is the back and forth energy, literally. Do I, don't I, will I, won't I? It just feels that kind of scenario. Six of Swords. The Nine of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. And we have Temperance, which is actually quite a patient, moderate energy. I mean, it feels like there's healing here or healing is offered in some way. You know, the Hanged Man, I sometimes say, is one of the wisest cards for me as a reader personally because when we don't know what to do, we say do nothing. And why? Because we kind of like let everything play out. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't necessarily mean that a decision is not kind of like hanging out there in the ether. It still is. It doesn't mean that everything's fine. It doesn't mean that everything's kind of like, you know... Um, you know, done and dusted. It's not actually. It's about let's wait and see. You know, I'm just going to let things play out. Let's wait and see. So this just feels that kind of energy here of your back and forth on a situation here. This could be um, love romance. It could well be a, a career thing. Could be a business partnership thing even. So, but the handman energy is sometimes we just have to wait it looks like the new beginning or the, the way forward is going to open up for you. But this week, it's just kind of like, wait. And what happens when we wait? Certainly, if it's to do with specific healing, if someone's done something wrong, we kind of wait and see. And one of two things will happen. Either things will get better and you're glad that you gave somebody the benefit of the doubt or they go and disappoint you again. And that's your answer. So it really is that I do kind of say a lot of the time, the hanged man energy is actually a really powerful energy to have because it really kind of like you kind of surrender, you surrender the situation to spirit and let things play out in their own time. And you do get the answer, the illumination that you need. King of Cups and the Nine of Wands. I mean, this feels like uh, some, you've been tested. You might feel that you're, there's two steps forward, three steps back. We never really seem to get past an issue. You know, I think everything's fine. And then this goes and happens again. So King of Cups can be, it can be somebody who is quite caring and compassionate, you know, um, might want to resolve issues, might want to find a way to rise above a situation here, Libra, provide some kind of solution. That can be in terms of love, romance, family, friendships. Like I said, could be a work thing. In a work scenario, generally the King of Cups is somebody who really puts people front and center. Uh, the energy lends itself very well to a, a very good people person, whether it's HR or whether it's a, a people person leader. 
Uh, but the same message applies. The nine of wands, I'm tired, I'm fed up. I'm tired of whatever the thing is happening. You know, I'm being tested and I don't know whether to just give up and walk away. This is the energy here. Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you might be thinking, you know, certainly I don't know whether to accept what this person's offering as some kind of solution or, you know, offer to heal. I don't know whether to make the changes. I don't know whether to... And that would be, the changes would be to potentially go and find another job, see what's out there, um, or detach from the situation and, and move on from it. So this can be the scenario. It can be, do I, but I don't know if I'm ready for that now. And also, you don't necessarily want to make changes until you have everything lined up. So again, the wise energy of the hanged man. Sometimes we like to get everything lined up and set up for ourselves before we make a move. Sometimes we just bide our time. This can also be that kind of energy in a work scenario, and that would be the advice here. Because again, the Eight of Pentacles, what you do, you do really well. You're very productive, certainly in a work scenario. And this can be about working through issues as well, also in terms of relationships. Having the opportunity to work through issues or let someone prove that, you know, things can be resolved. It's going to take maybe work. The Six of Swords, Ten of Wands, the Temperance, this again is, is kind of like finding a way to make it work, finding a way to heal, finding a way to put difficulty behind you and let go of a burden once and for all and bring that sense of balance and harmony. This is just, this just feels like something's got to give. It's almost like if this happens one more time, I'm done. This feels like uh, embracing healing or embracing putting an issue behind you that you've been tested on. But it's almost kind of like if this happens one more time, I'm done. But it, this also feels, it, again, if you're biding your time here, Libra, the same message applies. It feels like you understand now what you need to do to put the difficulty behind you. And there may well be a level of patience that's needed. But it's kind of like quite softly, softly catch the monkey, so to speak. You know that phrase in the sense that you if you're if you're making up your mind whether to stay at your current place of work or move in a different direction, this will be an energy of, of I'm just going to bide my time and I am going to release from a weight or a burden. But this is the direction I'm going to move in, you know, because in my truth, I know this is what I need to do to bring that sense of balance and harmony. So it's either about putting an issue behind you, either giving your current person or situation the benefit of the doubt and seeing it play out. For others of you, in a work scenario, it would also be about potentially even biding your time if your mind is already made up in the direction that you're going. You know, because you don't want to let go of one branch until you've got the other one secure. And that would be the energy here. But certainly a strong energy of don't settle for less in this energy. You will be back and forth on an issue. Feel that this week. And there's, there might well be a reason for it as well. You might need more information. You might need to find a new path before you let go of your old one. And the same message would apply, actually, apply in terms of relationships as well. You know, you're either agreeing to heal, give somebody the benefit of the doubt, but again, if they go and do the thing, whatever the thing is, one more time, test you, then I'm letting go of this completely. So this will be the energy here. You know, for others of you, it can, it can also be, like I said, in terms of money, career, finances, you might well have already decided to detach from a situation, but you can't quite reveal everything now you're biding your time until you've got the new direction set up for yourself practically don't settle for less either way is the message all right libra let's pull you an angel and ancestors oracle card what do we have for libra thank you well i like seeing i've got three cards i'm going to read one i oh, know i've got four cards <laughs> So we have summer, ba basking joy and light. So there is going to be joy and light coming your way, which is lovely. We have sage, be devoted and committed. A sage is about wisdom. It can also be about talking to somebody who is a sage. Somebody who will give you wise advice. Could be a beneficial for you this week. We have Mother Earth, feel loved and comforted. There's almost, almost an energy with Mother Earth of being provided for. You know, being protected, being provided for. 
This can be a very powerful energy. Could also be a mother might be significant this week, might be in supporting you. And we have Oracle. Wait for important information. This is what I'm talking about with a hanged man. Let's see what we have with that. I'll read that one out. Be open and receptive to information. Gather facts so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity. Angels and ancestors and the universe are speaking to you at this time. So look and listen for important conversations, signs, messages that will point you in the right direction. You are being guided to wait for more information before making any fast moves, because at the moment you are letting your wants get in the way of your needs. There is an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time, but you will only be able to do so if you are willing to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or action you have to take, don't take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be revealed be revealed. Then you'll know what to do next. Angels are supporting you. Trust them. We do have angelic help in this, in this reading too. Okay, I'm going to pull a final message. What do we have as a final message for Libra? We have go outside. It's time to go outside. Tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. Bottom of the deck, we started with a new beginning and we are finished. So it looks like it is coming. That, that direction is coming for you. Uh, and it feels like the right new door. You know, whether it's healing or whether it's setting yourself up in a different direction. We have this fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. That's what I have for you, Libra, for the week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Maybe you found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.